everybody, Jekyll Spinning, back after the big move, the new tutorial. A bunch of you guys have been asking me about how to do the Army Painter wash system, so that's what this video is about. So I've got our Mephiston here that we've been working on, and uh, off screen I did some more work on him and hit him with a gloss varnish from Vallejo. And we're going to be using the Army Painter wash system. We've got some dark tone and some quick shade wash mixing medium and a little lid here that we're going to use as our wash tray. So uh, as far as ratios go, uh, since we're working on one miniature here, I'm just doing kind of a large drop there. You can see how much is in the thing. And then I'm just going to fill up a pretty good portion of the dark tone. Probably three to one, I guess, is a, is a pretty good rule of thumb ratio. And I'll actually get a little squirt of water and mix that up. And you can see as I pull it along the uh, lid there, how it's kind of pooling up and only flowing into those little recesses. That's what the quick shade wash mixed medium does. Um, and when we put a gloss varnish on the model, it lowers the surface tension of the model so that wash will slide all over it nice and easy. And the wash will only want to settle in the recesses. Uh, you can get some staining. Um, so as you see me wash the model here, um, some things to remember is you always want to keep the brush moving. If you see wash build up uh, too much in any one area, like if there's a big puddle of it uh, resting in some detail or something, there's just too much there, then kind of dry off your brush and then wick it away. Uh, so that way you don't have any wash like settled there in a big, big lake of it, right? Because that's going to cause a nasty coffee stain. On things like his uh, little cape here, you can see that since there's no real recesses for that to flow into, it will kind of settle on the flat surfaces. So what you want to do is while it's still drying, get some water in your brush and kind of put that over the model and then wick away any excess. So on his cape here, the only real recesses we have are the deepest folds and the little uh, like filigree stuff, the buttons um, that are little skulls. So we want the wash to settle around that. But on the, the bottom there, uh, you can see that I'm using some water in my brush to kind of wick away that wash so we don't have any stains or any like kind of charcoal -y, dusty look from the wash settled on that cape. But all of our details still have shade around them. Same thing when you're working with stuff like he's got this uh, big skull on his shoulder pad and we want that to be like a nice clean bone color. Just get some water in your brush and wick away any of that excess wash. All right, here he is, the wash is dried, but he's still really shiny from that gloss coat, doesn't look very good. So what I always do is I take some matte varnish, this is also from Vallejo there, and I'm gonna push that through the airbrush and coat the whole model in that matte coat. And what the matte coat is gonna do is a number of things. Uh, it's gonna take away the shine from the gloss varnish, it'll uh, matte everything back down. This will also put a uniform finish on the model. So if you're like me and you have paints from a bunch of different brands, or even if you only use one brand, paints are gonna dry with a different finish from others, sometimes even in the same line. So if you're using like all Citadel paints or all Vallejo paints, maybe the, uh, the black paint that you use dries really matte, but the red paint that you use kind of dries shiny. Well, the matte varnish is gonna uniform all that and it makes the finish on the model the same for uh, all the colors and all the parts so that way it looks nice and clean and tidy and the matte coat is also going to let us keep painting on the model because the gloss coat it's it works the same way when you try to paint on it the paint doesn't want to stick to it so having a matte coat on there will uh, make your life a lot easier so here it is the matte coat is dry not really shiny anymore and we can keep on working with them and that's pretty much the army painter wash system Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. We have more stuff on the way now that the uh, painting desk is back up and running. Before we get out of here, I want to shout out some of our new patrons. Charles Grant, Golar Blueford, Stephen Rosenthal, and Zahariel78. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. And make sure to stick around for more content to come and check me out on Twitch.